Hi, this is Tim from CPU Cores with a quick demo of the CPU Core software. After you download, install, and run it, you will notice it automatically detects all your Steam games, as you can see here. You can also view your games via the grid format by clicking on the grid button, and you can expand the program to show more games uh, if you'd want. You can then search for whatever type of game you want. Let's do Duke Nukem, for example, in grid format, and we can do the list format, and let's search for, how about Arma 3? Now you can also do non-Steam games by clicking on the plus button and you can select a non-Steam game. For example, we have Notepad. Now, when you hit the start game button, CPU cores will automatically take your Windows processes and put them onto one core and then start up your game on the cores that are available specifically for the game. Now I have a quad core CPU with hyper threading. We're doing right around seven to 10% uh, utilization here. So I'm going to select Notepad, I'm going to click Start, and what's going to happen now is Notepad is going to start. Let's make this small and bring this over here. And if we take a look at our Task Manager, we're going to notice that, let's update this faster, okay? We're going to notice that all of our processes, they used to have a lot going on, they all have nothing now except the ones that CPU Core has specified for Windows and um, non-game applications here. So we notice that core number one and then the hyper thread for core number one have all the activity, whereas the other cores, as you can see now, have virtually no activity. And that is the uh, process, those are the CPU cores that the process that we have started up will run in, which is Notepad. So for example, if you're playing whatever type of game, Windows will be stuck on these cores, all the different Windows processes, uh, all the different Firefox or other things that you have, and CPU Core will make sure that all the other processors that you have are dedicated specifically to the game that you're playing. Now, CPU Core is also knowledgeable about hyper-threading, so CPU Core will disable hyper-threading for your game. So if this were some sort of hardcore game that we're playing, we would notice that CPU 2 would get all of the activity, as we can tell by moving this around. Um, but not CPU 3, which is a hyper thread. CPU 4 would, but not CPU 5, which is a hyper thread. And same thing with CPU uh, 6 would get the bulk of the activity and very little on CPU 7 because that's a hyper thread. So this is just a really quick video on how CPU cores works. Uh, we'll have more videos in the future, but hopefully this will give you a little bit of an overview for how the software works and you can make a decision whether or not you want to get it. So have a good day and happy gaming.